Schnitt durch die Eischoffe für Grassi und Klein. Beim Heiland am Kreuz fängt der im Ausweg an und er wartet mit offenen Hello, dear boys and girls. The song you just heard from Arno and Eva was about, it was in Swiss German. San Bonani, Mantombazani, Nabafana, Ikuloge in Sandugliswa, Ikulo Eli, C. Swiss, Jalmani. It was about the way back to God from a life full of sin. Nikuluma, Gendlela. Eogbuela gunkulunkulu, omuntu esuga endleleni, yogona. The door is wide open for young and old. And at the cross of the Lord Jesus, there is the beginning for the way to heaven. Jesus is waiting for you with open arms. Veselitige, umnyango uvulegile, uvulegele labo abangane na laba batala. Nano guti is pambano siga crestu. Si yonan lela, si sonas alo esia ezuluini. Uchesu uglin de lewena, gezingalo ezvulegil. Thank you to Arno and Eva from Switzerland. Sia bongagu Arno no Eva, basa Switzerland. I want to tell you a story. It's a true story. Something that really happened a few years ago. Nitando unkotala indaba. There was a shepherd in Germany with a flock of sheep. He lived near Karlsruhe. It's a big city and he lived outside and he was moving from pasture to pasture with his sheep. Waisala etuze na se kalswe, ugu itolopa elkulu. He had exactly 111 sheep in his flock. Waya itata agi zimfu zake, aizise ema zelena shugwa shugene, aizu segleli zelo, azu segleli aselo. So, you know a shepherd, he loves his sheep, he's with them day and night, looking after them. Seeing to them that they get enough to eat and to drink. Siazi ugutu malusi, uya inagege eli zimfuzake, uya pegu guti zilile ini, zino gujo wanele ini, zina manzi anele ini, ingabe lindawe zahamba guyo ipepile ini, umusebe nzinga malusi loo ugunagege la izimfuzake. He sleeps with them, he gets up with them, his whole life he spends with them. Ulala ganye nazo, uya vuga futi ganye nazo, ape abe nazo, sugwini, yonki pilo yake, uikita ganye nazo. Mubu nyu psuguge wa itola, ekatele nge njindlela. And one night he was very tired and he had to have a little nap. So he was fast asleep and when he got up in the morning, he woke up with a big shock. He couldn't find his sheep anymore. The whole flock had disappeared. I uptongo bamsla sela ngamanda waze wazumega. Uma ngabe vuga epsu ekseni watolu tugo kulu ngoba izi mvuzake zazi ngaseko sezi lashegile. Well, he ran around to and fro. He went into the forest, the nearby forest. No trace of his flock. Not one sheep he could discover. Wahamba wayo pega eshatini. Kotwa aguko na yotwa imvu aitola la peshatini. He ran to the next pasture. Nothing. Again, he couldn't hear. Meh. He couldn't see. One of his sheep, the whole flock had disappeared completely. 
wahamba wayo peka na golinye ilelo. Na kona futi, aganga tola luto, aganga ezo msinto wezi mvuzake, izi mvuzake sase, sase itugile. Eventually he gave up his search, but he went to pol the police station to report the incident. The police took it serious. They took down all the details. 111 sheep near Karlsruhe disappeared, got stolen. Why say chasin dabage ejul sele ma poiseni? Ama poisa i tate la pezulu, a tata yonki mnini ngwane, a pala panzi zonki zinto. Gushu tige kwa shiwa guti, ay, zilate gili zinvezu guti, zichonjiwe, ziafunek. In other words, somebody stole the flock at night while the shepherd was sleeping. A few days passed by, even a few weeks. And one day, the shepherd got a phone call from the police. Kushuguti kono mundu owa icho nchale zizivu la pumalusi esepto mwenelele. Kwa se kjuli nsugu anage, kwa ze guaba ama vigi, ngolu nyusugu ama poisa aisemfonela lo malusi. And they told him, listen, we got a report. Somebody told us that tomorrow, the next day, there's a big transport of sheep, 5,000 sheep, will be transported from Cologne, that's another city, a big city in Germany. They'll get transported across the border. Masebeti guye, lalela, sitolumbigo uguti, kisasa, kuzoba kona, Izi mfu, ezi ngama, ezi nkulu nganezi slano, ezo bezi tutu, wazi suswa, ezo etolope la se kolon, elinyi etolope lkulu la se chalman, zi iso agwe njinda ofuti. He must come to the train station, of course not there where people, passengers are transported, no, to the cargo train station. Akoge, fanelu figa wena, a station se stimela. Ate wa figure station goto ai lesi station says email is kibelo aband goto agai station says email is pata impasha. He must come and see whether he won't find one or two or more of his sheep amongst the five thousand sheep. Kuto aga figure zope kanga bamba mshambi angatola ayo to no ma a mbili no ma a ningana. Well, they didn't have to tell him twice. The next day, he made sure he was at Cologne at the train station on time. The police was there already waiting for him. Ah, what thing I know with Bazi Bampin de Logo? O Sul and Delay, Wafugela Conagleso Station, a Colon, a Seo Pegak. Ama poisa, aise mlindile futi nao kona lapu. So, they stood there as a group, some policemen, some police women, and there the 5,000 sheep were ready to climb onto the trailers of the train, the wagons. Ae milega ama poisa lapana kuko na wesilisa na wesifazane, E, na zogi zimfu sezi letu age uguba zizo kibela manje e, kuleso stimela eza zizo tutu wanga aso. And as the sheep passed, the shepherd, he called his sheep. He said, hala 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 hala. Na yege um, um, umalu silo wama age etu zane na lapi zimfu bezulula kono. Why send um sin doge o tease oti hala 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 ebiza is in fuzaki. And as the sheep heard this voice, this call, hala hala, all of a sudden one of the sheep tried to make its way out of the flock and come close to the shepherd. Telapo ewenza lum sindo wasekbonagala enye yen zimvu. Ilizwa izwi lake isi nyagaza ngamandla ifunu kultu za leze zinyi zimfu manje iza guye umalusi. And there another one, a third one, a fourth one. 
from these 5,000 sheep, one after the other made its way, pushed its way through the other sheep to get close to the shepherd. Ah, oh, take say, Jalu, what come again, you walk come again, you nans and you come over. Ah, Zong, Elizim, Zaluma Lucy, Zaliz, or easy luck as that is his Sunday, Laguye, Uguba Zibe said to Zan and I. And as time went past, and the hundreds and thousands of sheep had been loaded onto the trailers of the train, the wagons. Where is Katige? Lapos Kubegizim Vuzikichezwa, a Gulesistimela, in Gulungan and in Gulungan is a Zimvu. Well, here was the shepherd and surrounded by a little flock of sheep. Tegbonagala Nangu Malusi Manje, Unkanque, Ilum Sham, Buezim, Vula Etuzan and I. And as the police men and women counted the sheep they counted exactly 111 sheep that was the number of his lost flock utama police age esebala lo mhlambi wezimvu atholwe ukuthi zi isibalo sale sisibalo impela sezimvu ebezilahlekile well there was no doubt that these were the sheep of this shepherd they heard the shepherd's voice and they followed him. Agbanga konage ungabaza uguti mpela lezi zimvu eza ake loma lusi. Ngoba zali zwa ipimbo lake zase ziza guye zonke njengo pele la guazo. Children, I told you it's a true story. It really happened a few years ago in Germany. Bantu anangin nginchelile uguti indaba le eenze gange mpela now, you children that can read, there's a full chapter in the Bible about the Good Shepherd and the sheep. It's in the Gospel of John, chapter 10. It's about the Good Shepherd. Kunina Gabantuan and Wazi Yukfunda, Kukoni Sashuke Pai Pelini, Sashuan Jason, Kesikuluma. And there's one verse that stands out, verse 27. There the Lord Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Ivesi liga 27 lapo ukutiwa. Izi mvuzami ziali izwa ipimbolami. Futi ziaguzwa nukbiza guami. Are you a sheep of the Lord Jesus? Are you part of his flock? If not, you can ask him today and tell the Lord, I want to become a sheep of your flock. I want to be your sheep. Ingabe wenage, Uyiyo yini imvu kachesu na ingabe uinwenye yini yomhlambi wakhe na uma kunjalo ungamcela nawe ukuthi namhlanje nkosi ngiyathanda ukuthi ngibe yimvu yakho ngiyathanda ukuba semhlambini wakho Can you hear his voice and do you follow your shepherd It's wonderful Ngabe uyalizwa iphimbo lakhe besulandela ukumemeza kwakhe now you ask me, how do I hear the Lord's voice? How do I hear the shepherd's voice? Mshambege wenu nombuzo uguti, kotu wanginalizo wakanjani, liziwe wanjani, ipimbo liga malusi na. You know, when you're playing in the yard or in the garden and your mom calls you, Miriam, come in. It's supper time. Kufana nuguti uma ngabe ni lala pande ni zingane. Besu kamungu mama wake segmemeza. Eti Miriam no maeshi kamalako. Ati segu iskatsogu uja manch. You know it's your mom's voice. Why? Because you know your mom. You live with her. You don't see her, but you know her voice. Uzo sabe la ngobani 
Omuya la zipimbulga mama wako. Uya wazu kumemeza wako. Uya wazu guzu wa guta. Segu mama manjilona ongumemeza ayo. Oh, when it's your dad. Hey, Johnny. Stop playing soccer now. Come and do your job in the house. You know it's your dad. You're not doubting. Kanjalo futi uma ku baba wako. Uzomuzo wange pimbula kinaye. Maise kumemeza ti. Hey, usban ban. So guys, guys, go to Ngenen Lin Manje. Uzo gwen zum seven zwaku shi shi pola le. Uzo gwa azu gutai. Ubaba wami yulo se kulu. Oh, if it's your granny. You don't see her, but you know it's granny calling from the window. No magu bo koko wako. Tlaba umbo na umbo na gotwa. Uzo li zu yi pimbola ki ma yik bizu guti. Ah, u pimbola ka koko ge li. And you know, children, if you live with the Lord Jesus... You get to know his voice and you can follow him. Nazi Bantuana, Umani Pila na you chase, Nipila Gui, Nizol Chuaela, and Nisho Epin Bolak, Nyogwazi, Uma, Sekulumayen. And that's very important. The voice of the Lord Jesus is a still voice, it's very soft. And if you hear it and listen to it and obey, Kanjalo i pimbo liga chesu. I pimbo. El tule. Elinga. Elinga na indluzula. Gotwa nje. Elim tote. Elim nene. Futige. Lia zega guti. Leli segu i pimbo liga chesu. This voice will get familiar. Become familiar to you. You'll get to know it better and better. But if you suppress it. If you don't listen. If you disobey. It'll disappear. And you lose out a big treasure. Lelo pimboge, ikina se le chwaelega guwe, usul chwaela. Mokube awe skati kuze uzubon pelt aisa uya lazi mpela se ulbampi. Kotwa umu ngalala leli, uma ulziba. Yo kina lelo pimbo se le nyamalala, se le tula unga vusawlizu wa futi. You know children, if you want to experience a piece of heaven here on earth, Listen to this voice. There's nothing as beautiful, as marvelous as to hear God's voice speaking to you and following that voice. Because God protects you. He leads you. He teaches you. Bantwana, uma ngabe nifuna uguzi zwela izulu, nise se mshabeni. Mlalele nungulu ngulu. Ngoba. Ayi kinto e ismanga nento e ntle jungu kutu muntu ala lelu nkulu nkulu. Ngobu nkulu nkulu uya wazu kutakole futi nguye okvige layo kuzo zonki zinte zenzaka layo. And you need to be quiet to hear God's voice. You can't just play games all the time and watch TV and be busy with your friends and have action all the time. Futik dinga utobe ube umuntu ones kati sok toba sok tula uma ngabe ufunungulungulu akulu menawa wazu kuluma ulalelungulungulu ma upizi nezi nyizi nto ama keimu itv nezi nyizi nto zog lala angegu zugu wazu kuti umuzu ngulungulu. You have to be quiet to hear God's voice. You need to read the Bible, God's word. There as well, you can hear the Lord Jesus speak to you. Kutinga uz nigiz kati sok tula pamga nkulu nkulu ufundi paipe lako ngoba na lapo e paipe lini ngamuzu nkulu nkulu e kulumisa na nawe. Or in singing songs, by singing songs or going to church services, you learn to hear God's voice. Kanjalo na mkula makulo, uguye nkonzweni, ulalele inchumayelo, ezi yi njela lezo, zogumuzo wa mkulu mkulu, ekuluma. And you know, if you hear it, keep it, heed it and obey the Lord. If he says, go, unpack the dishwasher or wash the dishes, don't say, mm, I've done that yesterday already. Why me again? No, that's the Lord's voice. Do it, and you'll be blessed. You'll experience joy. Lale lukulungulu maikulumisa na nawe. 
ngalicimi iphimbo lakhe uma ngabe unkulunkulu ethi hamba uyoqoqizitsha ezeyigeziwe kwenze lokho ungathi awu kade kuyimi nje na izolo nanamhlanje futhi kusafanele kwenziwe yimi yindaba kuhlezi kuyimina xa mlale lunkulunkulu kwenze lokho akushoyo ngoba uzoba nokuthokoza enhlizweni futhi uzozuza isibusiso sikankulunkulu o if the voice says don't speak like that this is harsh this is foul language don't say but the others do it as well noma uma iphimbo lokankulunkulu likhuzu ukuthi musukukhuluma ngaleyo ndlela uzolimaza omunye umuntu bese uthwe na awu enganabanye osibanibani bayakhuluma nje kanje no listen to that fine still voice it will bring life to you Ah, when a lalela lady pimbo El Kulumayo, El Nyanyeza, Yogamnandi, Entlizweni, Moktula, Lila Lele Lelo Pimbo, Elikuza. And when you are at school with the hundreds and thousands of other learners, like the flock of sheep, the five thousand, and you hear the shepherd speaking to you, don't listen to these jokes, don't play this game, go away. get away follow your shepherd you'll find life you'll be protected futhi uyozuza ukuphila ngalokho njengalezi izimfe bezizi inkulungwane eziyisihlanu kodwa lezi ezimbalwa zakwazi ukuthi zilizwe iphimbo likamalusi nawe ungazithola mhlambi ukuphakathi kwabantu abaningi eh kodwa uma ngabe ulizwa iphimbo likamalusi wakho likubiza qhela kuleso sicuku suka kulabo bantu abaningi kangaka Hamba sondele iduzane nomalusu wakho uzwe ukuthi uthini yena Isn't that wonderful? You're not too small to be God's sheep. You can hear it, his voice and follow him. Awumncane kakhulu ukuthi ngeke usali ngeke ulizwe iphimbo likamalusi wakho xa ungalizwa nawe noma thi umncane kangakanani sondela kuye uzwe ukuthi uthini Let's pray Asithanda zenike inkosi Jesu siyabonga ukuthi usithanda ngalendlela yokuba singakwazi ukuthi sibe izimvu zakho sizwe iphimbo lakho Siza ilona lo mtwana ukuba alazi iphimbo lakho azane nawe Amen